hey hi friends welcome back so friends in today's session we are going to see that how you can break your root password or in other words also we can call it as a how you can rescue your root password or how you can recover your root password when you forgot the root password and this is also very very important for your rhcsa exam that is exam 200 my friend for the certification purpose so once you done with this one so it will be easy for you to crack the exam because the next session will be related to this video only my friend okay so let's start the session without wasting much time because time is money for us but guys those who are new to this channel please don't forget to like share and subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for the latest notification guys please subscribe more and more okay so uh, let me start the session so here you can see uh, so friends as soon as uh, you start your vmware workstation so you need to power it on the virtual machine which you have already power off so just power on this virtual machine as soon as you power on just do a all control delete uh, so ultimately your system will be get locked but uh, just do a all control delete so you will be going into your splash screen into your grub screen my friend okay so where you can see your kernel so here as you can see your kernel is just uh, showing over here so what you need to do is you can use a up arrow and down arrow to select the kernel my friend and this is also call it as a your grub screen i have already explained this one in one of my video so anyways i am going to put that link in the i button and in the description also so you can go through that booting process my friend so earlier in that old uh, uh, so friend in the previous uh, rhcsa exam or in uh, rhel 7 right so you have seen we need to select the first one this is your actual kernel image this is what your kernel the first one what you are seeing here is your kernel but if you have to rescue the root password then what you need to do over here is you need to select the second option so you can see clearly here it's written that that zero is for rescue my friend right so as soon as you select the second one and to go into rescue mode you need to press e here in the bottom also it's showing that you need to press e right and to go up and down arrow you need to use to go and up right so just press e my friend right so now into so now you are into a different screen over here so just use your down arrow to go into your linux where linux is written and just use the end button to go to the end of this line so as soon as you go to the end of this line just write here rd dot break my friend right and once you type rd.break just give a space over here and what you need to type next my friend console equal to tty1 and then just give a space and then finally give what you need to give sc linux equal to 0 so let me explain you why i have written this one so you have seen in some of the videos i am not sure okay people are telling that we need to create a file no you no need to do those things my friend you can do everything in this screen only this is the actual way to rescue your root password when you are going for rhcsa exam 200 my friend so do it like this okay so rd dot break and then space console equal to tty1 and sc linux 0 why i am doing sc linux 0 because sc linux is security enhanced linux it's a security feature of your linux operating system which will be enabled by default so first you need to disable this one then only you can set the root password my friend okay if you forgot right uh, and if you want to rescue or recover right so as soon as you do this one you can see at the bottom written here is control x to start just do a control x and just wait for few seconds so friends now you can see that it's asking you press enter for maintenance or press control d to continue so what you need to do is just press enter so now you are into the shell default shell so this default shell will be read only mode so now what the next step you need to do is 
you need to go into read write mode so this particular you are into a read only mode so you need to remount your file system my friend so how you are going to remount that one my friend so for that you need to do that is mount hyphen o remount comma read write because you are into read only mode so you need to remounting it into read write mode to change the password my friend okay and then space and then slash sys root right if you press a tab you will come to know it's printing sys root just enter this one once you done this one my friend you just do a pwd over here so where you are exactly so you are under slash root but you need to go to the topmost level right so for that you need to run the command called th root and then slash sys root and then enter now you are done what is the final step you need to do my friend just run this command pass wd right as soon as you run this command called pass wd now you can change your root password so i am going to give my new password my friend again you need to retype the password see all authentication tokens updated successfully now you are done resetting your password you have recover your password you have also call it as a break the password my friend now you just need to come out of this one just do a exit and again do a con exit over here so the system will boot up again and it will ask you to log in my friend so you can see <coughs> your system is booted up and i am going to log in as a root user with my new password my friend so let's see it's working or not yes so here you can see i have logged in with my new password successfully to the virtual console my friend right so this is how you can rescue your root password in your rhel9 my friend and friends i am ending up the session here only and in the next session we are going to see the rhcsa exam 200 questions and answer my friend so friends thank you for watching this video for more videos like this please stay tuned to my channel and please don't forget to like share and subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for the latest notification my friend and please do take care of your loved one till then jai hind friend and bye bye